What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So today we're gonna be focusing on a men's haircut tutorial. I'm gonna be doing a nice short haircut. My guest Kyle is going into the ROTC program at his college. So we did a nice short clean haircut on him to get him ready for that. Also on this video, I'm gonna showcase some of the new Maverick products by Mitch. And they also sent me this really cool loaded kit full of Maverick products. So if you would like to win this kit of products, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and also comment below. Let me know that you're a subscriber. Let's get started with the video. Here we go. Welcome to today's video. So what we're going to be going over today is some of the new Maverick products from Paul Mitchell, and we're going to be doing a nice short men's haircut. So um, those of you guys that struggle with any clipper work or whatever, I'm going to show you guys some of my tips, things that I like to do in the salon when I'm cutting men's hair. Um, so the first thing I do is I spray in the Maverick grooming spray. This has a light hold and I spray it on Kyle's wet hair and then I go through and I blow dry it just to smooth everything out. I think when you get a nice polished finish on the hair before you go to cut it, it takes away any of like the hair from kind of popping out where you don't want it to uh, for the haircut. So I go through and I really rock and work that clipper out. So I think the key thing here is to kind of develop that line that follows the head shape, kind of follows the contour of the head shape uh, back to the occipital bone, comes across that and then back up towards the temple area on both sides. Uh, the other thing I want to uh, really pay attention to is just to make sure that this is balanced because um, you want to make sure that any weight lines that you're building on each side of the head, when you're looking at them straight on, that you have that balanced uh, shape to it. So I'm using a one guard, so and I'm using an Andis uh, cordless clipper. I'm not sure exactly the model of this one, but um, I'm using the magnetic clip guards, which I really love. So I use the one guard to start the haircut, really develop that line and figure out the shape that I'm working with. And then I go in with a two guard and I go through and you'll still see that line. But the thing that I like to do is just go with my shortest clipper first and I work my way across the head shape. And then I go in with a longer clipper and then I'll fade that line out in between. So staying consistent with the way that I kind of pull that clipper away. And now I go in with a one guard fully open. So that makes it the longest length that it can be. So almost like a one and a half. And I start blending that line. The other thing I wanted to show you guys in this video is that Kyle has a scar on the back of his head. We did not miss with the clipper or anything. It's just part of what people have. It's part of their identity. He uh, So he has a scar on the back of his head. So now I'm gonna go in with my T-trimmer uh, and just work my way around his hairline, just adding in some of those details. Work around the ear. And now I'll do a little trimmer over comb um, at, in little spots that I see just to help blend in the top and the bottom. So now I go in with the clipper, uh, no guard, uh, fully open, and I just kind of go around the back of his hairline just to make it really have a natural look. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way across the top of the head shape, bringing everything up. This is a traveling guide. So I cut my first guide in the very back and I work my way straight through the top of the head. That's going to give it more of a flat top feel. And then I'm going to round it off to blend into the parietal ridge area into the sides. So you'll notice I'm not really doing too much over direction because I want it to be nice and short. Kyle's also off to college and he's going into the uh, ROTC program. So he wants his hair nice and short and clean. So that was the purpose of this haircut. So now just a little extra detail work, scissor over comb, and I'm gonna work into that calic area. The way that I like to cut into the calic is just really let the hair fall the way that it wants to. So notice my diagonal partings as I work around that calic is exactly the way that the hair is trying to fall. And that to me gives it the best blend and it doesn't stick straight out. Um, I think when you try to fight the way that it wants to fall naturally, that's when you're gonna have challenges um, in that calic area. So I just work my way around, a little bit more scissor over comb, finishing up some of the details there. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is just clean up the, the fringe area. And I think a lot of stylists will just kind of comb this down. I've seen it because I see people wearing the haircut. Um, and they'll try to cut without doing any over direction. I like to pull everything over to the side because he's going to wear it kind of parted over. 
um, bring everything over just like I would cut female fringe and uh, over direct it to me and cut it. And that gives it a little bit of layering um, and it gives it a nice soft feel and it really kind of wraps around the shape of the head. So I just like the way that it looks. And then once I comb that down, then I can do that fine detail work with the tip of the scissor and just follow my line and create whatever the line is that I'm looking for. And I'll just lift up that little last bit just to soften it there. And a little bit more detail work. So it's just all about combing the hair. I, I think with men's hair, another important thing is that he's not going to put a ton of effort into styling it, even though I'm going to try to coach him and tell him different products to use. He's not going to put a ton as much time as I am. So I want to make sure that no matter how he combs this or how he puts it, it lays nice. So this is the original pomade from Maverick. Um, it's got a medium hold, natural shine. Love the way that it feels in the hair because it's nice and light, but it just gives it a nice clean cut look. So um, I, I put that in his hair. I give it a little comb through, um, style it out. He's not looking for anything super fancy, just wants a nice clean cut. So there you guys go. Hope you like the techniques that I showed you. Definitely uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.